Hi there everybody and welcome to another video. On today's video I have this uh, BMW F30. This is a 2013 and uh, I'm just going to show you the location of the fuses. If you look at your manual here, it shows you there are some fuses um, in the engine compartment and also inside the boot. And then there is uh, details of the fuse assignments are on a separate leaflet. Now this particular model is um, a 328 2 liter twin turbo. So okay I can see that there's only two fuse boxes so we'll have a look at that. So if you get the bonnet open you need to pull that twice to get the bonnet open. So once you pull that twice, you can just pull this up. And then we are going to open this cover here, um, where we're going to find the, the fuses. So we just need to open this little plastic 10 mil retainers. So with a 10 mil, open this little 10 mil, they're just little uh, flaps, really. And unplug it from here. And then you can take this whole cover out. In there, you will find the fuses. I already removed it, but um, you have press these tabs to take it out and this that's where you have some fuses you have some micro fuses there little ones these are a little bit bigger so um, list of fuses will be in the boot on the other fuse box there will be a list there and it shows you it will show you the diagram and it will point you to the correct fuse. So, I can just put that cover back on and I'm going to fit this back on. So, let's have a look at the fuses in the boot area here. So, just get your boot open and then we need to remove this cover. Take that cover out and that's where the fuses are <clears throat> and you may notice that there is a little red key here and that is for pulling fuses out so you get it on the fuse and you pull it out not that I want to pull one out at the moment or the other side for the micro fuses Right, and, and then you have this little card here. So this card this card will show you the fuses, what fuse number is for what. And now just remember this uh, a 328 um, and it's got a few extras, so some fuses uh, may or may not be used. It just depends on the extras that you have, the model that you have. Um, so you really ought to check the little car that you have. But some things here, like a, I don't know, something like an engine. It gives you quite a lot of fuses to check or a fan gives you four fuses there so you'll have to check multiple fuses for different things um, here tells you the uh, amperage 
of the fuse number and okay so looking at this chart here it shows you um, these are the fuses in the engine bay so it gives you the number of the fuse so that's the layout there it just tells you here the right hand drive vehicles the fuse box is on the left and the left hand drive vehicles the fuse box is on the right this is a right hand drive and again gives you fuse number and what ampere it will be so that way you can locate the fuse that you need and then we have fuses in the rear it is also showing um, there might be a small fuse box on this side panel so if you remove this thing here that's where the battery is but there are some fuses up there now I didn't see those fuses in the manual but uh, they are in there this one's here and this one here refers to that one there so that's pretty much it really that's where you can find your fuses so this is where you would refer to the if you have an issue with a I don't know an electric window or something then uh, you would say you would look at fuse number 22 83 and 84 and go from there so or lights here we have lights so anyway um, I hope this video helps don't forget to subscribe and um, thank you for watching we'll see you in the next video